All right, close enough to uh, 5.30. Let's uh, call this meeting to order. This is um, the finance committee meeting. Um, and uh, today is 9.22 at 5.30. So um, in attendance, uh, myself, Amy Fiden, Paul Benjamin, and David Phil. Um, Andy Kopaki said he was going, he had another meeting. He was running late, but he was going to try to jump on. And also Dylan Manns um, said he was not going to attend today. So that's what we got. So uh, to start the meeting off, let's say uh, the reserve fund transfers uh, for Hadley Media. We went over this last week or two weeks ago. Um, did did I, I don't think we signed. Is that what you're looking for, for us to sign? No, this is going to be a different, something different here. Um, oh. Okay. Yeah, it's probably will not be the last time you'll see me this fiscal year. Um, so what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to purchase a, a speaker system or not a speaker system, a sound system for uh, meetings going forward. Like this is a, this is one, Amy, last time I said, what happened to the other bill? And he said they didn't, didn't think that he needed it. And now he does. So. Um, so the his request last week ended up being much smaller than we had originally thought. So this is uh, this is an amount. How much is this one, Alex? It's about thirty one hundred. Um, pretty. I would. I would uh, give me. I would try thirty two hundred just to be safe. It, is this for like a public address type speaker system for for? So I don't know why it says speaker system. It's it's pretty much a microphone system. Um, so wireless microphone system. So we'll be using these types of microphones for meetings going forward. My, uh, my iPad, we've already tested everything. Okay, so, and um, what I will do is, I mean, I sent around the minutes for our last meeting. Sorry, I just sent them around right before we, we um, signed in. Um, and, I'm looking for the dollar amount I put on there because I was, let me make sure I had the right dollar amount um, that you requested. Was it 1,025? I thought I listed, oh, hold on a second. I think maybe I, um, let me just grab my minutes here. Uh, Not nice, right? So we should always just call this the bar and it gets in like the video and start doing this. Initiative. Okay. But if we talk about what's going on, I put in there it was 2,725. Anyway, 2,007. Because, well, maybe I, I misunderstood when last meeting. So it was two thousand, but um, then Carolyn said that that one bill, the sixteen hundred dollar bill, had to go to town meeting. So we ended up just doing the thousand twenty five. The one thousand twenty five. Okay. So I will change that. One thousand twenty five. Okay. We the good news is we didn't sign anything yet. <laughs> Right, here we go. Because I thought, oh, when I saw this, I thought, oh, I don't think we signed. That's what you were getting at. But okay, so the good news is we didn't sign the request yet. That was for 1025 So this one you want to add to that request. Exactly how much are you adding? So I'm 3200 3200 Can't tell. Andrew Smith, when he comes, knows how to that request That's that you're going to be needing us to sign store. on is for four thousand two hundred twenty-five. Well, Correct. Get involved with NEP because okay. they will send engineers. Does anybody energy. have any more discussion on that? She's going to do. Uh, no. You did. All right. So if yes. we want to have so a motion for the additional thirty-two hundred for Hadley Media transfer. Yeah. This hey, wait, this is, and this is coming of, out of the same place, yes. right? Yes. Which is the reserve fund for Hadley Media. Yeah. Make a motion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
C is the meeting coordinates for us. Awesome. Okay. So, so it looks like I have a, a motion from David, a second by Paul. Okay. Yeah. Okay, great. As an so all in favor, and I'll do the roll call. Amy, Claire, yes, Paul. But yes. I think that and might David. be a nice time. You know, yes. or even. Okay. Uh, so thank you. Thanks. My job is to, to worry. Can I just ask the background noise? Is anybody else hearing that? Yes. But yeah, I'm. I just set up for uh, climate change. I was trying to knock this out before I, I uh, actually go record. Oh, for it. okay. That's sorry, Carolyn. That's okay. I'm in two places at once. At least yep. I'm not on a soccer field this time. That's right. Thank you. I just as You're I just knew, knowing that it's going to end eventually. <laughs> it will once I get up. It will. <laughs> Does anyone have any questions for me before I take off? No, nope. nope, I think we're good. <coughs> Perfect. Thank you so much, everyone. Have a good night. Thanks, Alex. Good night. Thank you. Okay, so uh, the next thing up is the uh, review of special town. Or actually, you wanted just approve the minute. Did you see the minutes that I sent? Do we have to wait till they're posted for next time since they weren't on the perfect? Day? Okay, let's wait till next time. <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure, Carolyn. Is do we, should we wait till next time since they weren't on the agenda for this? I meeting? didn't have it on agenda minutes. Okay. Yep, works for me. All right. So the, on the agenda is review of special town meeting uh, financial articles. Did were you able to? I didn't see that yet. So we won't, we don't have all the details. I do have the warrant we can go over, but I wanted to see, did you want to review the capital request first? Um, well, I don't want to get into too much details. I would like for us to start to get them. Um, I would like to see if we can set up another meeting so that one, that everybody could join, um, Dylan could join. Um, I would just like to just to be able to, you know, know that they're out there. I was going to ask, um, I know that David went to the Capitol. Um, I was hoping that maybe you could um, also send us not just what the requests are for right this moment, but if they're doing the future requests or all the requests so we can see as a group what we need, even if it's ones that aren't going forward for this town meeting, but what they're planning for in the future so that we have an idea of what is upcoming too would be great. So Amy, we did the, uh, the request that I sent out. They had a choice to do special town meeting or annual town meeting. All of them came back as special town meeting. So we don't have one for the annual town meeting. Okay. So all of the, all of the requests that they reviewed were for the special town meeting. That, well, that's fine. But uh, we, I, you know, they will down the road. Did you, you have some ideas. Do you have a list of a of a projections of like the schools have projections going forward? Of, um, you know their ten year plan. Does any did anybody else give you projections? So we were doing. I had asked the capital uh, committee in the very beginning during the summer when I met with Paul that there'd be two two responsibilities this year with the CPA uh, committee. Sorry, capital planning committee. One was to look at special town meeting, annual town meeting for the present, and then to work work together to do a um, capital plan for five years. So we are that process will begin, begin once we get through uh, special town meeting. Okay. I can I can tell you I know of I know if it might be helpful to let you know things that I, I'm working on that I know are gonna be in the future, if you wanna go over that, but I didn't know if you wanted to focus on the capital. What we, they, are, they have met for the last time for a special town meeting. So okay. we have those requests. Amy, if, sure. if, if I could. So for capital, um, we asked for the development of a long-term capital plan again, like we used to have going five or 10 years out, or at least an updated one. Uh, we didn't vote on that, but everyone was kind of unanimous in their feeling that we need something to work with, especially with the schools having, you know, multi-million dollar capital needs over the next however many years and all the other projects in town, you know, fixing up town hall, et cetera, maybe Russell School, whatever we're going to do. Um, 
So we, we all agreed that we needed to do something along those lines. And I, I think by the end of the meeting, we kind of agreed that maybe we need to meet outside of just special town meeting and annual town meeting to work on or work with other departments to develop this plan. Um, the other thing that, that we did vote on was to ask the select board um, and, and us, the finance committee, to dedicate the cannabis funding to capital. So that way we were, are not running into, um, you know, caps of 300,000 a year or something along those lines. And we have multi-million dollar capital requests every, every year. Um, and then, uh, Carolyn, this might be a good time to talk about this a little bit, but we wanted to look at, see if there was any ability to use any of the remaining ARPA funds that weren't going to be used for the trailers towards some of the smaller items such as pumps and things like that at the water wells and the water treatment facility. And then uh, we also wanted to talk more about any capital items that are approved at town meeting. And then let's just say 100,000 is approved and 80,000 is all it costs to do the project. Those remaining funds coming back to capital kind of in a to a capital reserve so that way we have more money to work with each year because the, the way we're going about it, that we're never going to catch up on the capital needs uh, being limited to three, 400,000, you know, a town meeting. So th those were kind of the things we talked about. Um, so I think capital has got a lot of work over the next six months or a year. And in that um, I, 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 I knew the school was, had a lot of big asks and they're coming up with a lot going on requesting on capital. How about, I saw last night, I did watch the select board meeting. Uh, so what about the DPW and then, and the new trailers and, 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 you know, not getting new trailers, but doing the DPW um, overhaul. So are, are you asking me if we're moving forward with that? Yeah. How, how are we yes. mixing that in and, 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 at the same time as a school or is one more of a priority than the other? And, and they're both so such big requests that how are we going to handle that? Yep. That's part of uh, a lot of our discussions throughout the day with Linda. And then we meet with Dan and um, Susan. And uh, once a month, we have Molly as a representative from the select board. And you're with us as well, Amy. Um, so that is why we're moving forward with the DPW. And that is... All of our planning is in line with, as Linda reviews, where her debt service is going to start to go down somewhat, um, where and she can explain that better, but it is something that we are, talk about all the time. So that is one of the reasons the DPW, uh, this is the perfect timing. If it goes to annual town meeting, um, we are not looking at borrowing um, for another year, another two years, and it wouldn't be all at once. Uh, so it would... It is, it is in line and in schedule with as these other buildings are coming off. And Linda, feel free to jump in at any point. Um, we do, we have, I, I have not seen that 10 year plan, the 10 year plan yet from the school. Um, so I don't know what, what is upcoming. Um, but that is part of what I really want CPA, that is the role of the CPA committee to look at, um, to look at a long term plan and to um, work with the finance committee to know how to fund these projects. We, we are in desperate need of a plan. It's been one of my priorities since I started. Well, the school has a plan and I saw it, but that went to CPA, not to capital, as right. far as I know. I'm in, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in yeah, I'm talking, I, I use CPA and capital planning committee. But, but yeah, sorry right. about that. But I, I don't think the school plan has, I, I haven't seen the school plan. I haven't either. Oh, well, I can board it to you because I saw it in <laughs> CPA. <laughs> I'm not sure why. I know it went to CPA. And, and speaking of CPA, they're talking about a, a large borrowing for a possible large borrowing or at least a large expenditure towards the school fields. And that's one of the items I know is on this long term plan is their fields. So their initial uh, part of their large borrowing, what is it, 12 to 12 million? How much is their yeah, total 12 plan? Million. But 12 million is what they're looking the school is, but 1.7 is what's requested at CPA. Right, right. I, and that's out of the 12, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. That was so, and so the like, field, right? That was for the athletic fields that they're going to yes. CPA for? 
Right. They're going to, that's going to CPA. And there's something else. Uh, uh, Mary Thayer was also talking about uh, a Russell School renovation coming to CPA, which yeah. I had not understood that was going to CPA. I thought they were looking for town funds. So there are some, there's some big pieces that we have not put together yet because they're being worked on in other corners of town. So we need to know more about Russell School. We need to know more about what's going on with the school, regular school. And we need to know, um, what was the third one? Um, the ladder. Yeah. A ladder uh, truck. Yeah, a ladder, yeah, ladder truck is another over a million dollar particular item. So we have some pretty big pieces that are going to be decided uh, over the next uh, couple of years. So I hope we really can have more meetings with the Capital Planning Committee and, and get that together. And meanwhile, they have, uh, a large number of requests, Amy, for the current town okay. meeting. And um, if you want me to go over that, and that will. Well, I, I don't I, want you. Well, the yeah. reason why I don't want, I was hoping to probably make this meeting a little bit shorter. Um, one is because I'll, I know that there's a lot going on over at the senior center with the big meeting there. And number two is I wanted the, I, I don't want you to have to repeat go through all too much detail and have to ask for you to repeat it again next week. <laughs> oh, okay. So, so do I want to see it? Yes. But do I want <laughs> you to have to make you repeat it twice? No. Uh, Cause I do want, and before we vote on anything, I'd like Andy and Dylan to be able to hear it too. Um, but anything that you want to, so I think that would be a good thing is us to start sharing some information. If you want to start sharing and sending over the capital stuff to us in an email and I will forward to everybody here the um, request from the school that I got on the that would be helpful um, there is one thing I want to say about the request from the other night and this is an update to you David um, who, who was there at that meeting that um, out of the general fund budget we had about uh, it was a two million dollars total request out of that we had uh, about a million of it coming out of general fund and it would all be coming within borrowing and the within the levy um, and that's the way they voted and left it. And we've been kind of scrambling for a couple of days to see what we could pull back from old articles. And uh, we were able to get so far, we have about 35,000 coming back to the capital stabilization fund. And we're gonna use that probably to get the police body cameras. So, and, and something else I think, because we, we do have a small balance, five, 6,000 in the, in the uh, capital stabilization. I think we're gonna be able to cover one of those with that. So that brings it down a bit. And even better than that, I think uh, you heard me asking the other night what how what we could apply from the buildings to uh, items on here. Um, we can't just uh, take uh, building balances from those articles and buy trucks with them. It has to be something for the same period of time or longer. So the only thing that the one thing on that list that qualified actually was the school ceiling tiles. So I spoke with our investment advisor who, who spoke with bond council and said, yes, we can do that. So we actually, if we're able to get $165,000 out of um, the building articles, which uh, we're working on, uh, then that brings that total amount of a million uh, we're already down to 800, David, although you can't expect that every couple of days. This was, I think this is, we've probably gone most of the way. So, um, and then um, the capital planning kind of put it over to the finance committee and, and select board to help strategize how we're going to uh, uh, fund it, come up with a better capital funding plan. Um, for those smaller items, there's no question those larger things that you're you know, that you mentioned, the multi-million dollars, that's going to have to go to debt exclusion. But even exclusive of that, we need a better way of funding the things that we can handle within short-term borrowing that they'll come and go, dump trucks, um, school buses, um, other vehicles, police equipment. So we want to be able to keep that rolling through. And if we can't keep it to the 400,000 then we need another way of supplementing that amount that that uh, the finance committee has already um, authorized come out of the budget. So whether it's by increasing that authorization to a larger amount, whether that's worth it and putting it in the budget, or um, as they were discussing, um, uh, coming up with a stream of income, uh, setting up a capital stabilization in some other way, um, these are there's a lot of ideas that we need to kick around and see the best way that we can come up with so that we have something predictable that we can come to every year um, to fund a, a good portion of the capital. Because $2 million is a 
pretty big need that we have accumulated over time. So I, can I, Carolyn, can I ask as far as the building projects go, yeah. uh, Mulberry Senior Center Fire Station. Um, I know the fire department has done a lot with their remaining funds as far as the fiber optic network and things like that. But I mean, we're several years past quote unquote, you know, substantial completion in these projects. So it, at some point here, I think we need to close out the, those borrowing items and pull that funding back. And I know that there's plans for solar and this and that, but I mean, if these are long-term plans that we don't have the funding to do in a reasonable amount of time, I, I think we need to close them out, bring that money back to the budget, get the, the items that we need, and then reappropriate those funds later down the line when we want to do solar, when we want to do upgrades, things along those lines. Yep, that's actually all that Linda did the last three days. And I think that that's what she was referring to, the money that she did get back to repurpose for some of those, um, uh, the projects where she, I mean, she, we, she had to go and talk to bond, bond council to find out exactly what funds could be transferred um, out, of, out of what old articles to fund some of these present capital requests. And she can go into details, but that's what she was referring to where she was going in and, and talking, talking to the departments and saying, okay, it, it's, the projects are done. What else is on that scope that you haven't paid for? Because we would like to take the rest to support the other projects that are on. You know, it wasn't in, in, you know, in large amounts, but it was worth it. I don't. Do you want to just review that? Review that again, Linda. I was. No, no, that, that's right. Yeah, and and I have to find out now. As far as just taking the money back, saying okay, we're we're done. We want the balance back in and apply it to the budget. Um, uh, I, I have to go back to town council, bond council and see if we can do that because since there are such restrictions on apply, applying it to other capital projects. And what I'm thinking is we have enough other things coming along. We've got the DPW building. We've got the uh, perhaps something going on with Russell School. Um, and um, they all very much fall into this tw uh, this larger, this category this of 20 years or longer um, uh a borrowing time frame that we can use the balance of, uh, of those funds and apply them to these other projects, which aren't ready yet, except for the school uh, ceiling replacement that was ready now. So we could get that money and move it over. But um, if we can, um, I would like to gear towards annual town meeting, especially if it came time for uh, uh, some basic engineering or planning or some kind of studies that might be needed for either of those other projects, that that would be a good source of money to move over uh, towards and put towards the DPW project. Um, and, and short of that, if we, have, if we didn't have any of those larger projects coming up, then I'd have to see what it is that we do as a town to get, to get those balances back and put them uh, to use in some other way. I, I'm not sure, I haven't been through this before, but I'll, I'll, I can find out. My, my theory is, has, go ahead, go ahead. I, I just see Dan's hand up too. I thought he might have something to add to what they're saying. The building projects are debt exclusions. Can you use that size of an amount of a debt exclusion for a non-debt exclusion item? Or do you just have to pay it off or use it on another debt exclusion? It's, a, it's, about, it's about the borrowing and... Um, well, it, it did go through uh, bond council today. I didn't bring that up specifically, but it could be applied to that project. And we've already, uh, all we're doing is changing the purpose at this point. We're changing, uh, it's not, uh, we're not saying borrow it within the levy that we are using the debt exclusion money towards the school ceiling project. Right, but if, if you change the purpose of it, it would be within the levy as opposed to outside of the levy. No, we're not gonna change the, no, we're, we're changing the purpose by vote at town meeting. They're going to say, we're going to use that money instead. And no, we don't have to go for it. Because I'm not sure if DOR will approve that if we're using money voted for the fire station or the library to use it on another building that hasn't been approved as a debt exclusion item. Well, right now we're dealing with the school and I did get approval of, of bond council. If you have other concerns, um, you can, you know, 
send an email. I mean, write it up, Dan, and uh, you, we can get it back to bond council. But so far, they they were fully aware that that is a, down, a debt exclusion project and that we just want to change the purpose. I mean, they knew exactly what we were doing. He, they know that the buildings are debt exclusion. And I said, can we apply it to the uh, school ceiling project by vote at town meeting? And, and he said, yes, if you have other concerns. Um, um, I'm 90% sure that DOR, I saw something from them saying that if it's under 50,000, that's not a problem. But if it's more than 50, it becomes an issue if it's not another debt exclusion. All right. Well, if you want to get back and we can read this, you can look, do that on a sidebar and, and look into that a little more. Um, so my only, my only concerns with those building projects is that the longer this is kind of an open checking account, so to speak, uh, the more items that we're going to come up with of, Hey, mm -hmm. you know, this would be a good idea. This would be a good add on. And it's it's never going to end until all the money is exhausted. And, and I know I'm, that's nothing against Linda. I know you're you're a check and balance on that. I'm not saying you're not doing that, and Carolyn, you too. But you know, the longer this goes on, where there's an amount sitting there, the more projects are going to come up. So I, I just would like to close it out and and repurpose it if we can, or just close it out and be done with it. And then if we need stuff in the future, go back to the town meeting vote. Yeah, we've we've actually stopped some some. Um bills going forward that have been charged to those articles that it it wasn't it was more repairs than it was new so i would say yeah lynn does have a very good eye over it and um as, david as far as arpa i can bring the next finance committee meeting i can bring an update of what we spent out of arpa and what's left and also the criteria that you have to meet um, in order to use those funds so i can have it at the next meeting and I was just looking at maybe some of the smaller items like the pumps and the, you know, the, the little items from mm -hmm. DW and water and sewer. So, yeah. Okay. Uh, how about the uh, one other thing I wanted to ask about free cash? Because in the fall, we always talk about the free cash. And my understanding is it looks like we're going to be certified for quite a bit. We're going to be very high on the free cash. So is that something that we're going to be able to look at using the free cash towards the capital? No. So define high. <laughs> well, the last meeting I remember being at town hall, this it sounded like they were gonna have about 2 million in free cash. Right. We're used to only having about 500,000 in free cash. No, no. I don't think we, I don't think that high Amy, but we were taught, we, um, there will be increases in the budget. Um, yeah. So, yeah. So we have, um, we, we just finished three negotiations. So there will be an impact on our personnel line items so that we'll, we're going to be having to use free cash for some of that. We also need to reserve some of that funding for the annual town meeting. Um, but I, I, um, I don't think it's 2 million. Am I correct? And that we don't even know what it's going to be, but I we don't, don't well, we know what the pluses are, but we don't know what the negatives are. So right. we, are, we really have to wait for uh, the accountant to catch up with us um, to, to come up with the, what the free cash is. We do know that um, uh, I, I sent you all the um, your, your end reports. And if you look specifically at the general fund year end report, you'll see that our re revenues came in quite a bit higher than we're expected. And that was almost uh, so, so most of it is due to the additional amounts we received from the state quarterly for the rooms tax, the um, uh, restaurant, the food tax and the uh, and cannabis. And they climbed uh, really unexpectedly high. We could see it climbing through the year. But uh, that was not in our projections at the beginning of the year, and when um, and the budget certainly didn't wasn't built around those. And also, our budget came in low. So between the budget coming in low and the revenues coming in high, um, we came very close to being a million dollars and even more ahead um, of where we expected to be by reason of our regular revenues and the budget. So. That will definitely be, uh, those will be large factors in calculating the free cash. And we don't know what all the factors are, but yes, we could come out needing it. And um, as was explained last year, 
the when we balanced the 23 budget, we used we completely used certified free cash we already had on hand. We were not planning on and we did not contemplate new certified free cash. So the 23 budget is already out of the way. That's uh, so we are looking at we don't know everything that's going to impact the new one. We will buy we will have free cash by the time uh, we get to um, town meeting. Can you use it for uh, capital? Yes, mm -hmm. you can. We always used to. We that's why we did the. That's why the plan in the past has always been to try to have capital requests at, at special town meeting because we used the free cash that was certified and we used that over and over again. Right. That's why we had everybody do that at special town meeting. So, and my thought was, is I knew we were high with the rooms and tax and the food tax, which I, mm -hmm. I remember the million dollars you mentioned. I thought that was great. I did know we had negotiations, but I thought that was because we were so high um, with, it, it, you know, since I thought that would cover it. So then if yep. we could somehow get um, for our next meeting, a good um, try to get a projection of what our free cash is going to be, yes. that would be good. Um, We'd and, like that too. And then how much, and, and then how much um, we're going to need for um, the budget. Uh, right. And one thing to keep in mind um, is that we used $400,000 in ARPA funds to balance this year's budget. We're not going to have that money going into 24. And so we will want to uh, set aside a, a, a high enough amount of the free cash to get us back on our feet for the 24 budget so that we're fully funding that again. So um Yes, you can use it on capital, but and we do need it uh, in part on the budget, and we hope also enough will be set aside not just for uh, for the twenty four budget. So um, these things all have to be balanced off. So you said that we had used our free cash. I remember we used our free cash and the ARPA money to balance the budget this year, correct? And you said we were using the free cash from the previous year, right? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. how much? Free cash do we have left from that bucket? Two hundred thousand, just a little bit over two hundred thousand. That will go into the certification as of July one this year. Oh, that so goes yeah. that's included in that free so it goes into it will, that. Yes, it, it will be included in it. So um but Honestly, at this time, this is the first year that that has been a positive number at all because we because the budget has been based on, well, we know we'll get free cash, so we'll clean it up in the fall and we'll balance our budget in the fall after we get the certification. But not only has that been done, but you've got that extra 200,000 and uh, that will in itself also increase our certified free cash. I mean, I, um, it, it will it will be high. It's not something that we can count on again the next year because we'll never have that kind of a, an increase. Well, I shouldn't say that. Maybe we will. But we, that was that was a real increase in those state payments based on the the deficits and the, how it went down the prior years. So I think we're just, we're in a catch up mode and it is uh, is going to take us a, a full cycle to get back on our feet and, and, and make sure we are balanced going into 24. So that would be probably the biggest concern of just being careful about how we how we spend the money once we I I, I agree with you 100% Linda to be careful and that's why I would like to see a lot of the free cash not be used for the general fund not be used for operating but to be used for things what we're not doing is I I keep seeing it we're not we're not putting money away we need to start um, and start figuring out what we're going to do with um, building maintenance. We keep taking our building maintenance and it keeps going back into the general fund because we use put it in free cash. We need to start building it more in our capital and start building our reserves more in the capital um, so that we can paint town hall so we can do some of these projects. We need to start the savings. And I don't necessarily want to put it in stabilization, but I think we need to start mm -hmm. taking these chunks and start putting it away. And so that we, and, and not put it just don't, I don't want to see it roll into our operating um, budget. It, I, I, because like you said, if it's not there the next year, we can't count on it. So we don't want to 
keep, we don't want to spend more in operating. I don't want to overspend in operating because I, I want to use this extra for savings or other things. Um, so I just think we got to really focus on some of that, but that's, yep. All right. Well, um, anything, I think we went over capital. When, when next meeting, do you think we'll have, um, uh, uh, maybe be able to see, or will you be getting us a draft of the warrant? There, I have the draft of the warrant, but we don't have the, uh, the cap, the capital is on there, but I don't have the other, uh, any other, the other financial specific amounts that are going to be in some of those uh, um, transfers from other budgets to if, if we need to do any transfer between line items or prior year balances. I don't have, we're waiting for that from the accountant. Great. So maybe so I, can, I can, I can send you the warrant. It's we were, I was ready to show it to you, but I, I, I don't think that's going to work tonight. Uh, okay. So I can send it out. I can send it out to all of you. It's Wonderful. simply in a, it's in a draft form. That's fine. That's fine. I just, just so we have the numbers and what's in the draft. Next meeting, we can talk about, um, Andy will have gone through um, CPA. David would be done with plant, uh, cap, uh, capital um, committee. And so I think we'll be able to really attack it next meeting and do a lot more with it. Um, uh, does anybody else have anything? What's the, uh, I'm sorry, um, the, uh, Caroline, you say you don't have all those transfers in uh, other than capital and CPA. What, uh, at what point will you have uh, those numbers in for the warrant? If we're looking as soon at as we, we're waiting to hear back from the accountant for the, for all of those, num for those, for those numbers specific for the prior year balances and the prior year budget and anything that we need to do. When do you think that'll be? It, we sent out a reminder today. Okay. I, I don't think it's going to be long that, you know, we, I would say in the next day or two, we would probably have that. Oh, okay. So we might have it in time for the, our next meeting then. Oh, I think you would definitely have it in time for your next meeting. Okay. Thank you. So I'd like to see if we can have our next meeting for um, Thursday, the 29th. Would that be something we could do? Since Thursdays seem to work? Yes. Yes. Works for me. Okay. Yeah, it looks good. Okay. Andy, okay? Yes, yes. And Carolyn, is that okay with you? It's not. I can do what I, I can do the best I can um, getting on, but I'm going to be out of town on Thursday, but I can, um, uh, I can try to get on. It's gonna, well, it'll well, be, a, be here maybe well uh with the um do you have linda or is, is that going to be something you can make uh, i would I, I i would like to be present for that at this level um sure. but if that's going to work for everybody i can uh, do my best to uh find a quiet room well when do we, is there a select board meeting Wednesday? No. How about the next Thursday, Amy? Thursday okay. seemed to be uh, the it worked pretty well. Well, Wednesday fine. is open. I'm fine with that. The, the issue is you want the let's see the town meeting is on the 27th. You need all your votes in by what date? I need to, to, let's see, probably by the 7th. I think you can do this in one more meeting. I think so, but I don't want, what if I wanted to ask questions? I, I don't like the-, the Oh, this, I want you to ask, yeah. yeah or, or something we want to go back to, or I'd like to have the ability to say, okay, I don't want to cut it to the day before and be the first time we see it. So um, I would like to have a meeting next week. And then if we have to the week after, but um, I would like to uh, not feel the pressure of having the stuff at the uh, last minute and have to vote in case there's questions. 
So uh, I'm open to whatever. Um, um, I mean, next Wednesday works for me if you want to do it. It works for me, but the problem is, is it doesn't work. This five th five thirty is a little early for me because I'm trying to get to all the soccer games over at Hopkins. <laughs> I'm missing a lot, so I'm trying to get to them. Um, do we want to do like seven? Is that late enough to finish soccer? Oh, and oh yeah, that's plenty of time. I could do that absolutely. So you're saying the 28th at 7 p.m. What? What 28? I I could even do uh. Or, uh, six. 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 Six is better. Okay. Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. All right. It's crunch time, right? So. So the twenty-eighth. Uh, let me see if uh, I'm going to just send a quick message to Dylan. Wednesday, because he hasn't made any, he's, he's having trouble. I need to give him plenty of time with Wednesday, the 28th. And town meeting is on the 27th, would you say, of October? Yes. Mm -hmm. At what time? Seven. Didn't you know that's a hockey game night? <laughs> it's also oh. open house. <laughs> uh, I might not get Dylan. He might not reply right away because that's the reason why he can't be here because he's in the middle of doing something. He's at something. Right. I don't know what, but. All right, well, let's just go for the 28th, and um, if we have to reschedule, we reschedule. I'll find out. Okay. But I'd like to have, you know, that's that's the one where we're going to, it will be longer, and we'll have everybody um, try to listen in because that's the one. But, yeah, if if we get, it gets too long or we have too many questions, we have time to have another one. Right. So. Something to look forward to. Yeah, I know, Paul. I know you like that. I love meetings. Amy, can uh, I also can I also ask for something else on that agenda? It's very quick. I, we just can't discuss it tonight because it's not on the agenda. The select board last night is appointing a DPW feasibility study committee, and we would like to have one rep from the finance committee. If you would be willing to just dis, um, discuss that at the next meeting, and okay, don't don't forget to put the minutes on there. Okay. You need a motion? No, we let Dan. Dan wants to say something else. Oh, sorry. sorry. Just real quick for Amy. Yeah. Uh, the next bylaw review committee meeting is Wednesday, October 12 at 10 a.m. Wednesday, October 12. 12 at 10 a.m. at the Public Safety Complex. Thank, thank you, Dan. Thank you. Okay. So now I'm ready, Paul. Motion to adjourn. Second. All right. All in favor. Aye. We got a roll we call. Do a roll call or we can do. Oh. Amy, aye. Paul, aye. David, yes. Andy, yes. <laughs>